Hello again, my name is Gabe Zona. This is the 23rd of January, 2019. Someone needs to question the Honorable Robert Mueller, and someone needs to ask him if he knows what the definition of collusion is. And I went ahead and I took a look to see exactly how it's defined. Collusion, secret or illegal cooperation or conspiracy, especially in order to deceive others. Let me repeat that. Collusion, secret or illegal cooperation or conspiracy, especially in order to deceive others. Now, this brings me back to Barack Hussein Obama. And I'm going to attach three links. One is the definition which I've just given you. Another is an article that's published on Real Clear Politics. And that article actually has a couple of embedded videos. It was written by Tim Haynes, that's H-A-I-N-S, on February the 20th, 2017. Title, MSNBC hosts can't remember when Obama pros promised Russian, quote, more flexibility after the 2012 election. You'll actually see the MSNBC link and you'll see the hosts having a chat. While answering a question from MSNBC's Katie Tour about why he is confident that President Trump will stand up to Russia, Representative Francis Rooney, Republican of Florida, referred to President Obama, leaning over to Putin and saying he'd have more flexibility to give you whatever you want after the re-election. Well, that's not quite right. He didn't lean over to Putin. He leaned over to the then president, which was Dmitry Medvedev. And Obama told Dmitry to tell Putin that he'll have more flexibility after the election. I'm sorry, I don't know what you're referring to, the host said. Representative Rooney explained. Remember when he leaned over at a panel discussion or at a meeting and said, I'll have more flexibility after the election. No one really ever pushed the president on what he meant like that. But I can only imagine for a thug like Putin that it would have emboldened him. The host repeated the guest's name and ended the segment. In a nuclear disarmament summit, in Seoul on March 2012, President Obama was caught on a hot mic talking to Russian President at the time, Dmitry Medvedev. Quote, this is my last election, Obama said. After my election, I'll have more flexibility. I understand, Medvedev is recorded replying. I will transmit this information to Vladimir. Hmm. Published on March the 27th, 2012. On Monday, while President Obama was taking part in a global nuclear summit in South Korea, he was cut on tape asking for Russian President Dmitry Vladimir for space. This is my last election. After my election, I'll have more flexibility, Obama implored. Obama assured the departing Russian president he will have more flexibility required to deal with missile defense issues after the 2012 presidential election. Now, that statement right there, to deal with missile defense issues after the 2012 presidential election, Obama should have been arrested right there on the spot and tried for treason. I mean, even a blind man can see how illegal that statement that Obama made is. 
and how it jeopardizes the American people. He'll have more flexibility in dealing with the missile defense issues. And we got this jackoff running around spending millions of dollars trying to prove that Trump colluded with Russia when we've got a videotape, an audio tape of Barack Hussein Obama colluding with Russians. Yet nobody said a word. I'll attach the three links. The third link again is Snopes, which substantiates exactly that what was said was indeed said. So how come Obama is not being brought up on charges of treason? That's the question that has to be asked. Not of Robert Mueller, but of President Donald J. Trump. Take a look at the links. Go do your own research. Listen to Obama in his own words. Absolute, undeniable treason. Yet, who are you going to go to? Sadly, there is no one to go to. Otherwise, Obama would be in Guantanamo, wouldn't he? The link will be attached. Listen to him in his own words. You might want to repost this in all your social media accounts. You might want to pass along to like-minded friends. You might want to send a copy to President Trump. Ask him, what the hell is he waiting for?